Hello oh guys, this is Matthew CBJ here, and today I'm reviewing The Little Golden Book of Toy Story 2. So, th this book, this little golden book is from 2006, but the film's from 1999. So there's the spine that you get nothing, and here's the back, you can get other golden books, there's other Toy Story ones, there's the third one, first one, Pet Problem, and The Roaring Adventure. And you also got these other ones, that they're not based on the, they're not based on anything, but you got the Shaggy Paggy Elephant, or the Pokey Little Puppy. Toodles and what's it? Swan and Lorna Lion, I guess. Anyway, so I like the fun cover, it's very nice. It's Jesse, Woody, Buzz riding on Bullseye the Horse. Okay, so let's take a look inside here. So, this is where you write your name here. So, here's the fun cover. You can see this, this is Wheezy, the penguin. Okay, so let's begin. Do you like toys? Well, Andy sure does. He has all different kinds of toys. He loves to play with each and every one of them. But Andy's favorite toys were a cowboy named Woody and a space ranger named Buzz Lightyear. One day, something terrible happened. Woody was toying out. You want to there? You see, Woody wasn't just a toy. He was a famous toy who once had his own TV show. Along with Jesse the Cowgirl, Bullseye the Horse, and Stinky Pete the Prospector, Woody starred in Woody's Roundup. Because Woody and the other Roundup toys were so famous, Al, a greedy toy store owner, was going to sell them in a, to a museum all the way across the world in Japan. Jesse, Bullseye, and the Prospector were very excited. They had been in storage for a long time. But Woody didn't want to go to a silly museum. He wanted to go back to home to Andy. That is, he did, until Jesse told him a story. Just as Jesse had Woody, just as Woody had Andy, Jesse once had a little girl who loved her. They played together. They laughed together. They spent the day together. Until the girl grew up and forgot all about Jesse. Woody began to wonder if Andy would grow up and forget him. Maybe the museum wouldn't be bad after all. Meanwhile, Buzz was Buzz Lightyear was had been plan busy planning a rescue mission. Mr. Potato Head, Slinky Dog, Ham, Buzz and Rex all set off to find Woody. To get to Al's toy barn, the toys had to cross a busy street. Fortunately, they had a plan. Success! Inside the store, Buzz and the other toys had to challenge a new and confused Buzz Lightyear toy. And little did they know that an evil toy named Emperor Zerg was hot on their trail, but nothing would stop Buzz and his friends from finding Woody. They quickly found Al in the office and of the toy store and followed him to his apartment. And there was Woody. But there was one problem. Woody had decided to go to the museum with the other round of toys. He didn't want to end up forgotten and stored. Buzz tried to convince Woody to go home to Andy, but the cowboy had made up his mind. So Buzz and the others left without Woody. Maybe they're like, goodbye. It didn't take Woody long as to realize that he had made a mistake. His true place his was with Andy, not in a museum. The prospector had a different plan. He was going to the museum where no cowboy would stand in his way. He trapped Woody, Jesse, and Bullseye in the apartment. Then Al took them away. Woody's friends had to rescue him, but first they had to defeat Zerg. Now they had to hurry. Al was on his way to the airport. Next stop, Japan. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Buzz, Mr. Potato Head, Ham, Rex, and Slinky borrowed a car and raced to the airport. They rescued Woody and Bullseye and sent the prospect to packaging. Unfortunately, poor Jesse got stuck on the plane. Oh, uh-oh. 
I got the eggs as well. Would Woody and Buzz be able to save her? Of course they would. Yeehaw! Soon, Woody, Buzz, Rex, Ham, Mr. Potato Head, and Slinky were back in Andy's room, along with their new friends, Jesse and Bullseye. All the toys knew that they couldn't stop Andy from growing up, but he wouldn't miss it for the world. The end. And there's some advertisements for the other for some other golden books. And look, we finished the story. So yeah, so so thank you for watching this video. And please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.